Hello dear students, welcome back to Bio Vidyalaya. I hope you all are doing very well. Today in this lecture video we are going to discuss about ascent of sap. I took this topic from plant physiology and this lecture video will be helpful for those who are studying in 10th standard to those who are preparing for competitive examination like CSAR net, GATE, TBT, NEET etc. So Please don't forget to share this video with your friends. So without further delay, let's start today's class. In our body, we know that circulatory system works with the help of a pump called heart. But how uh, the upward moment of water is possible in plant? How it is possible? Let's see that. Okay, so what is meant by ascent of sap? Upward movement of water and minerals from root to the upper part of the plant through xylem is called the ascent of sap. Okay, so ascent of sap means it is the upward movement of water and mineral from root to other part of the plant plant through xylem okay so our sap that contains water and minerals it is not pure water it contain water and minerals okay so upward movement of water and minerals from the root to the upper part of the plant through xylem is called the ascent of sap. Okay. So let's see how ascent of sap works. Scientists have proposed many theories to explain the mechanism of ascent of sap. Here we are going to discuss about the root pressure theory and transpiration pool. Most accepted theory is transpiration pool. This root pressure is only applicable for small plants like herbs. Okay. Let's see root pressure. So, root pressure is a hydrostatic pressure that is generated in root and which forces water upward in the stem that is called the root pressure. Okay. So, root pressure is a force or hydrostatic pressure. What is meant by hydrostatic pressure? The pressure that is exerted by the fluid that is generated in the root that help in driving uh, fluids and other ions from the soil in upward direction into the plant's vascular tissue called the xylem. Okay. And this theory was put forward by Priestley in 1916. Okay. If the plant stem is cut near to the soil level. Okay. Let's imagine this is plant stem. And um, this is root. And this is the soil level. Okay. If plant stem is cut near the soil level, we can see some exudation of water from the stem okay and this phenomena is known as exudation exudation and which occurs due to root pressure that continues to force water up the plant so because root pressure is pulling uh, water upward direction that's why we can see this exudation on the top of the stem okay top of the stem cutting okay this is the evidence for root pressure and this root pressure develops when soil moisture is high and also transpiration that means loss of water through stomata transpiration rate should be low 
so this is the condition for root pressure development okay so if there is no transpiration or there is low transpiration then what will happen minerals inside the xylem will accumulate okay minerals accumulate inside the xylem because of the accumulation of that minerals osmotic potential that will decrease that's why what will happen water will move from higher concentration to lower concentration that means lower solute concentration to higher solute concentration that is called osmosis okay so water move by osmosis from soil to root and because of the um, water inside the root what will happen hydrostatic pressure will increase and that hydrostatic pressure is called root pressure and that will push water upward in the xylem okay so this is the mechanism of root pressure so root pressure occurs in the xylem of some vascular plants when the soil moisture level is high either at night or when transpiration is low during the day because of the hydrostatic pressure in the root that means because of the root pressure water will push upward continuously uh, but um, now the transpiration rate is very low or the stomata is closed but uh, plants how somehow get rid of the excess water that's why plants push water outward uh, via a small pore called a hydathod and that process is called a guttation okay so at night in some plants root pressure causes guttation or exudation of drop of xylem sap from the tips or edges of leaves okay but this root pressure is not able to push water upward in the tall trees this is only uh, this root pressure is only um, working in small plants like shrubs okay so root pressure is not enough to account for the movement of water to leaves at the top of the tallest trees the maximum root pressure measured in some plants can raise water only to 6.87 meters and the tallest trees are over 100 meters tall okay so next we can see about transpiration pull transpiration pull theory is the most accepted theory and this is also known as cohesion adhesion theory and this theory was proposed by dixon and jolie in 1895 and according to this theory transpiration transpiration means the loss of water from the leaves in the form of water vapor that is called transpiration so um transpiration generate a negative pressure in the xylem of leaves which pulled water upward that is transpiration pull so transpiration pull or suction force is the force which aids in drawing the water upward from root to leaves okay and this theory is based on number of features like Uh, cohesion adhesion surface tension and capillary capillary action okay so this transpiration pull is based on some physical properties of water first is cohesion cohesion means it is the mutual attraction between water molecule here you can see that this is cohesion the mutual attraction between water molecule that is called cohesion because of this cohesion um water can form a continuous column in the xylem okay and next is adhesion 
Adhesion means it is an attraction of molecule to the hydrophilic wall of tracheary elements. It is the attraction of water molecule to the hydrophilic uh, walls of the tracheary elements. That is called adhesion. Okay, here you can see that this is the adhesion. The attraction between water and the tracheary walls of the tracheary elements. Okay, and surface tension. Because of this surface tension only, water can um, shrink to the minimum surface area. Okay, and the capillary action means um, the ability to rise in a thin tube. Okay, our uh, trachees and vessels are thin tube. So, this capillary action of water will helpful for um, um, rise water in that thin tube. Okay. So, during transpiration, water will get lost through stomata of the leaf and uh, the mesophyll cells will become dehydrated. That means the concentration of water in the mesophyll cell become um, reduced and uh, that is why what will do? This mesophyll cells will take water from the uh, cells adjacent to that and when this adjacent cell become dehydrated it will take water from uh, next cell near to that and this process will continue up to root. So, during transpiration process water molecule get evaporated from the stomata. In this process concentration of water is reduced in mesophyll cells which result in lowering the cell sap of mesophyll compared to the xylem vessel. So, a negative hydrostatic pressure is generated in mesophyll cells to draw water from root to the veins of the leaves. Okay. So, cohesive and adhesive properties of water molecule help water to form unbroken and continuous column of water in the xylem that is extending from root to the cells of leaf that means mesophyll. Okay. So, continuous transpiration generates a pulling force in leaf mesophyll which exert an uh, that which is exerted on xylem elements and lifting water from root to leaves. Okay, so this is the mechanism of transpiration pull. I think this video will be helpful for you. Here I am winding up this video. If you like this video and find it helpful, then please give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Your suggestions are very important for me. So please comment your suggestions in the below comment section. Keep learning. Thank you.